Several years ago, I was presiding over a funeral service and we'd come near the end of worship and it was time to lead the gathered body in the Lord's Prayer. And so I started the Lord's Prayer and told people to follow. Would you join me in the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven? But I got a little muddled in the middle of it and all of a sudden I forgot where I was in the middle of the Lord's Prayer. But instead of panicking, I just stayed quiet and listened for where everybody else was and then picked it up and finished the Lord's Prayer. Nobody said anything. Mission accomplished. The next day, I walk into my office and there, draped across my desk, is a 22 by 34 inch photocopy of the Lord's Prayer. The guys that work at Earthman Funeral Home thought it was so funny that I messed up the Lord's Prayer during a service that they put this together and said pulpit-sized edition of the Lord's Prayer. Now I got to tell you, when you mess up so bad that even funeral directors can have humor at your expense, that's bad. You know, the truth is, we all mess things up, and sometimes we mess up the things that have to do with our faith. We get confused in the middle of the Lord's Prayer. We can't fully recite the Apostles' Creed. We might not be able to quote chapter and verse of Scripture. But you know what? At Christ Church, having perfect knowledge or perfect understanding of the Bible and the creeds, it's not required to be part of our faith community. We take people where they are. We take people who've never read a Bible before in their lives, but they love God and they love people. We take people who have different interpretations of the Bible than other people and disagree. Because we all come at God differently. We all come at Scripture differently. God has made all of us unique, and so it makes sense that we all approach God in our own unique way. That's what I love about our worship community at Christ Church. We have every range of biblical knowledge and biblical understanding, and all are welcome because at Christ Church, we live out our faith unfaithfully.